Fiske på Det er Clementine. Alright. Hi, my name is Jack Bark, and I'm a surfer, paddler, diver. Try to get in the water when I can. Yeah, boys are fired up. We got Zeb coming out here from Australia. We've got Lockwood coming down from Malibu. Lockie's out here for a month on vacation, and we just decided to spend his time relaxing, doing a little 80 mile paddle. We've actually been talking about it for a few years now, I think. Um, maybe like 2019, he sent me this like screenshot of this like mapped out triangle of Catalina. It's like, oh, I was a bit skeptical. Like, you know, maybe we'll do it one day, but kind of laugh it off and just like forget about it. And, um, well, here we are, I guess we're about to go. <laughs> How many miles have you paddled in the last year? Well, I did Catalina last week, so that's 32. And then I did two four milers. You trained up? Since 2019. That's, um, that's where we're at at the moment. We've done enough kilometers in our time to... Yeah, hopefully like autopilot kicks in and... I think so. Wow! <laughs> If we're getting if we're getting here by noon, we can just yeah. like Molokai almost be a mile high yeah, yeah. and just ride it back down and hopefully we're finishing back there where the beers are. That's you how you that's technique. how you get multiple second places at Molokai. <laughs> Paddle with your lid off. If only <laughs> if only you keep your liquids in there. Yeah. You would just done so well. Alright. Ah, uh, my name is Zeb Walsh. I'm from Torquay, Victoria in Australia. And I'm here because Jack had a terrible idea and I agreed to do it. We got breakfast burritos in here. This is all our coffee. This is all the GoPros. This is all our sunscreen. And then the trash can, we're just gonna have like all our rash guards. So in the morning when it starts to warm up, we'll just take our suits off and then we can throw like rashies on them and forties. So, so it'll just kind of be organized for use. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna need coffee. Yeah. I've just gone like three weeks with no coffee. So that when I have a coffee, it hits like three times harder. <laughs> yeah, Tom Lockwood has got moist burn pads. Oh, he's ready. That's like the best of the best you can get. Nothing's going through that. Throwing those on. <laughs> We've got some venison. That's Axis like deer fish. from Hawaii. One of the best. Some chili mango. Right. <laughs> Just rack that. Yeah, where's my drink bottle holder? I'm going to stick it on there, under the front, in case I have to harpoon something. I don't know. I wonder if it's so steep, we're not gonna get it. It's gonna be windy though too. It's gonna be like 20 to 30 knots outside of Catalina. Mm -hmm. Like pretty much after tomorrow, it's just gonna be blowing the next like four days. Got a good window. So we're gonna get we'll get wind swell for sure. Get, so, but it's just one boat for everything: lead, food, directions, safety, fish. The time you finish is up to you, Lockie. Side to spend, you know, 20, know. 24 hours a year. 24 <laughs> hours of fucking torture. Hey, I haven't man. paddled over 10 days, good. mate. <laughs> I haven't paddled over 10 right, days. Yeah. So. Listen, we got that old man straight. Yeah, that's yeah. it. We're dad power. Old oh, man? Fuck. No. This is, this is, this is, 28 ways, but. Oh, no. That one have a thing, though, in it. Um, oh, they yeah. all have got it in there. So they can all have a, like a rudder. No, it's, it's, this just, is it's just this so you're not lying and you're at peace for five hours. What? Is it really? Oh, wait, this it's, is a, it's a drainage hole. Yeah, good, Bob. Glide like, on the small ones, but you're not pushing like, you know, we don't know, we're, we're going to be feeling 40 miles in, but you're not going to be... Shit out. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be feeling stuck. <laughs> well, it's you, like the Stalking Unlimited had a baby. Let's <laughs> just drop the uh, handles further back. Been taking dimensions. They're like getting faster times than their limited on these. Because you're getting the same kind of glide and everything as your limited, but you're but you not pushing push much hard. board. Yeah. Yeah. And you then you actually lift your riding and actually. I paddled the unlimited the other way. I swear I could go 100% and it's the same as going 80. Like the speed doesn't, yeah, your effort changes, but your speed's like not that different. You Where this, you, can't push it past, you could past actually past go 100 past. and you'll go faster than going 80. Because unlimited, you're, you're pushing the board, but like you have to stay within that like frame of stroke rate to rest yeah for stock you can just keep turn over it's like your rpms yeah. can get faster your board's gonna go faster totally i mean you're not like sprinting like that in unlimited but this you can kind of get that medium ground yeah. but they, they go good 
How'd you get talked into this? this I, I, I jack of five. Did you shoot anything today? Not yet. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, this is a little long. <laughs> This thing. The one you're sitting on is narrower by like a quarter inch, the narrowest. Yeah. But other, the other ones are all, they're all the same. Schlenz ordered that yeah. one, I think. Yeah, it picks up bumps that you don't even, tiny, tiny bumps, but also it penetrates into the yeah. chop. Jack, so going ordered. upwind, it rides really good. Hey, you're you marking be, your board. He must be Australian. <laughs> marking your board. Aussie. Yeah. Is he brought it, call it? Yeah, it is. Australian dog, <laughs> keeping it down. But I think those are the right boards for. 90% of the races now, you know, it's you got the unlimited. You got to paddlers stop. should be yeah. paddling these. It's and everybody who's tried one has just sworn this is the fastest board they've been on, even when they're out of shape. Yeah, this is that perfect paddle it like a stock, glide like an 18. Or, you know, C2. Man, I don't know that. I still reckon there's years in Molokai where this can towel up the 18s. Yeah. With the right guy on it. Yeah. Easy. Solid, yeah. Solid. yeah, so we'll have extra cages, we got fins. Okay. New? Yeah. I know, we've had these for a while, but I've never really played with them. They're real thin tip. Yeah, I like them though. They this do. has been the best fin we've had, I think. That and the this, 7. This is the 7. the RFD? Yeah. The 7? Okay. Yeah. Is the original? Fins and birdie fins. The current and the beers. I think we're going to go faster as we go 8 mile, or 8. Give ourselves 8 for the first channel. Seven of the backside and six, and we're gonna go shorter than that each leg, I think. He's smashed it out with the Traeger. Fuck around. I love it when people ask them, like, why? Well, when there's no smart way to answer that. <laughs> Zeb's got kids in Oz. You're okay. busy. You're you're in Oz. It's like shoot. How do we get the boys together? Dude, you gotta do this. Let's offer it up on an extremely painful paddle. You. Sports loaded. Sun setting in half an hour. Wait for the sun to go down, and then we're gonna hit the water on 839. Shoot across in the dark. Night vision. Looking good. Fired up. Yeah. How are we feeling? Fired. <laughs> Ready? I feel good, huh? <laughs> Where are we going? We're going somewhere in this direction right here. Just follow the moonlight? Follow, follow the moonlight. <laughs> Way up in Hawaii, we did something wrong. <laughs> We passed our mark. <laughs> 80 miles. How good's the glide on these things? Pretty sweet, huh?
How you guys feeling? Ten strokes in. Uh, yeah, good. I just want to go. It's so good. I knew Lucky might win this thing. <laughs> the last bit of cheer before it turns to misery. <laughs> almost nine o'clock on the dot and we're going to start the paddle here. There they are. Woo. Dude, there's fish here, shut the line in. All right. Dude, the weather was kind of nasty off, off New Harbor. I was kind of nervous. <laughs> yeah. It was like full white caps. Oh, yeah. And then once you turn the corner, it just like glass off. Damn. Yeah, it's nice, dude. Yeah, we're stoked. Boys made off the shore break, so that was kind of the first mission. Didn't lose any fins, so a couple months in the making, we're here, and uh, we just got a couple miles ahead of us before we run the West End and head back. Just a couple miles? Yeah, hopefully in 24 we're back here. We're frothing. Uh, Boys are looking good. Yeah, yeah. I think it's best just like, we're going south. Yeah, we're just like, like, that just speaks like 50 yards of yeah. the video. Get fired up? Yeah, yeah fired up. Yeah, right now with the moon, it's like dead on the moon is it. All you know is we just the moon changes. All right, so about this heading right here. Yeah, we're about an hour in. Boys are stuck. Crotch chicken runners. Kind of just following the moon and it's moving but we kind of got a good little moon line to follow and get some bugs. Oh you're out? Cheers boys. Yeah bro. It's doing pretty good so far. Here and yeah, there. the trucks are kind of died off so I'm trying to just like tapping this over though. You gotta keep readjusting. It's pretty good. Alright, bottle drop. We're two, we're about what, two and a half, three hours in. Here come the lads. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, Did you want a Snickers, bro? Yeah. Do you um, want one of them? Oh, Snickers, yeah, we'll go. Snickers? Here we got one. Oh, yeah. um, have you got the chin rest? Oh, all? yeah, chin rest. Where are those guys? Sweet, they're at the bottom of the trash can. There. Me off with some water. Yeah. Ooh, that was a little gnarly coming around there for a while. Going 4 a.m. Down in the East End. Whew. Dash report. Well, what do you think, Zeb? Alright. We, we got us a little bit of a uphill battle here. Yeah, it's um not. This is the darkest part of the paddle so far, so. The, sun, the moon just went down. The moon just went down. You can see it barely going down right there. Off. And we're on the darkest side of the island. We lost the moon light. It's pretty dark. A little stressful around the east side. We're staying close to the boys. 5.45. Last 10, 8, 10 miles or so has been pretty dark. Bathtubby conditions still. That's our uh, 5:45 update. Sam's still getting some sleep. It's been about two hours of no moon, some rock dodging. Side of the east end here. Uh, stop for a quick break. The boys are on the beach making some coffee and uh, get back underway here in a little bit. Pretty good conditions, nice and glassy, a little bit of swell. And uh, hopefully, we'll get the sun shining through these clouds once the sun gets over the mountains here. Oh. 
coffees, burritos, hoops. 42 miles in. Rejuvenated. Ready. There's a seal just on us over the beach. Cheers. Yeah. I think we'll probably we're gonna cut we're gonna cut across. Uh, so we're gonna aim for the far. Should be like 14 to 16 to the west end. So we're gonna aim across there, maybe in an hour stop. I'm gonna change, because it's getting kind of warm. And then um, we'll like do another little bottle change then. Check. So far, we've just got mile car to go now. <laughs> All right, we're uh, just off, almost off Cat Harbor right now. About eight miles till we get to the West End. We finish up the second leg and then start the third leg, which will be West End back to Terranea. The, the nude leg is upon us. Jack just nuded up. Now I feel a bit ashamed that I wasn't nude. Can't guarantee anything. We just bring birch or stairs. Uh, I think there's some normal. How's it looking? Did I rub it in? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been hanging for this stuff. How terrible it is. Is it ammo right then? Shotgun a can, boys! Huh? Shotgun a can! Cooler's light! He said shotgun it. Oh, shot. It's already open! Next one! <laughs> Spirits are pretty high, seeming, eh? Yeah, they're doing good. Joking around, we're laughing. It's better than the dark mode. Started at hour 12, uh, about a mile and a half from the west end, which will be the start of the third leg. Total miles to go, about 25 to 27 miles. Weather's still looking really good. Boys are still in high spirits, they're hyped up. And uh, we'll see how they're looking once we turn the corner and get in the home stretch. Man, I'm too old for this shit. How many miles are we? Too many. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Pain train. Oh. I just got to the point where everything's turning to shit. <laughs> Fast hour is fine. Yeah. Oh, it was beautiful. Vlog was just scouting his mm. new dive spots. I was, I was pretty fired up about those dive spots. Nice. Yeah. Is this wind? It's the south wind? <laughs> She's a long day. My ankles fucked, my knees fucked, my hips sore, my back's alright, my neck's fucked. and I don't have any chafing that I know of. <laughs> that way. Okay. Can really, you, that way. Can you get me a Red Bull can, please? <laughs> I mean, I'd kind of rather punch it with this 
it's small small chop versus quartering it again and just blowing out well, it's supposed shoulder. to get up to 15 knots but it's supposed it? to blow yeah it's supposed to be blow so this might die off wow. and switch like this isn't what they called for or it might just it's like get stronger awesome. i'd rather punch it straight right now yeah. the wide shoulder just doing this like just blowing one that, out that's too much for me that's why my whole right side of my body is just from earlier straight Wow, well, I can't believe we're gonna go that f***ing way. That's really put a dent in the afternoon. That's brought the f***ing festivities to a grinding halt. Well, here's the thing that's kind of scary is, is, is the, you know, the south Island? swell pulling too. So if we get too high and we start getting pulled down by that south swell and the wind doesn't come up, we're gonna be way high. Then we're gonna have to fight the current all the way back. But if, where's it going to take, where will the South Swell take us? Towards it's north. north. I like it. Finish it Manhattan Beach Pier. We'll call it a classic. Yeah, yeah, we'll just do what we do and just keep paddling with our heads down until I right. feel better than I did. Alright, yeah, let's get them on a line. That way. Into the wind. <laughs> into the straight headwind. Oh, love it. Yeah, boys. We'll do like another mile and then we'll uh, do a little snack. All right. About, uh, uh, it's about 16 miles right now. Uh, straight shot back to Terranea. Weather's good, the wind's died down a little bit, some light swells. Able to get a couple little side runners. Fifteen point one to go. Now the labs did it. Jeez. Wind has gotten the critical until it wasn't. <laughs> We're gonna have a hell of a ride home. The more we drink, the better it's getting. Yeah. <laughs> 